What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Dick Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima. Oh, the cover music. So we're back on Tiffany Henry in last night's meeting at City Hall, which did not end well for her. The trustees got some serious revenge, but there's good reason for why that is. And I want to talk about something that I've just kind of really been finding out in the Cook County areas, and that is something called an ordinance. Now, I really wasn't involved in politics, local politics where I lived, but an ordinance is something like an authoritative order. It's a law. It's a regulation. It is how things are supposed to go. And in order for an ordinance to be changed by a city council or a law, there should be some kind of vote or deviation from that approved by the board or citizens, usually not the mayor. And let me give an example of an ordinance. Rewind! In the city of Chicago, there is the hated mayor, Brandon Johnson, for good reason. He's a terrible mayor, but he's way more mature than Tiffany Henyard. He allows twice a month people to come to the city hall meetings and address him for 30 minutes. And in that 30 minutes, here is an ordinance of what the people in the town get at those meetings. 30 minutes. Each speaker is limited to three minutes. Speakers cannot yield or transfer their time to another speaker. Any written comments that have been submitted will be posted and made available for automatic review. That's right. It is three minutes for you to be able to respond. Three minutes, right? Okay, we got it. You can't give your time to anybody else. You can't go over the time and all of that. But you see, that's not what Tiffany Henyard does. Tiffany Henyard feels like she can do whatever she wants to do. And her officer, Mr. Lacey, who's the head of the police, started trying to make excuses about credible threats. Next, we have public comment. And let me just give you a couple of rules. But I'm going to give the mic to... Uh, Chief Lacey first. Go ahead, Chief. You got a mic? Yeah. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the board. Uh, due to credible threats, that is one of the reasons why this meeting uh, was delayed. Uh, we had to rearrange some things, but we do have credible threats in reference to this meeting tonight. Uh, unfortunately, if there are any outbursts, if there are any clapping or anything that is, or if we get another credible threat, the meeting will be closed, 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 closed. Now, a credible threat is a credible threat. You know, I'm not in the police or, you know, security or anything like that, but I understand that. But still, that should have nothing to do with the city hall meeting or the city council meeting. But look at what Tiffany Henyard is going to give the residences. All right, thank you so much for that. Um, you have two minutes. You can stand to the podium. They're going to call your name and you have two minutes to address this body. So you can start. Are you calling the names? Okay. So she'll call the name. You have two minutes. You go to that podium there and address this body. And it is public comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You heard that. Two minutes. That's right. Two minutes. Okay. Let me say it again. Like Umar. Two minutes. Two minutes, <laughs> two minutes, two minutes. Usually it is one minute. Now, again, here is something else the mayor has changed. There should be two meetings a month in the city, but there isn't. She has now reduced it to one meeting a month, and then she cancels meetings whenever she feels like it. In fact, this particular issue was brought up at this meeting. We I, I would like to buttress on what the person from Riverdale had to say. And he was talking about the meetings and scheduled meetings and we shouldn't be having a squirrel meetings or whatever they're called. But I, ever since I've been in Dalton, there were two meetings scheduled each month, the first and the third of each uh, Monday of each month. That hasn't happened and I know at least 10 or 11 months, and I'd like to know why. This should be more than citizens address. 
we should, some of our questions should be answered. No, I'm sorry, your three minutes are up. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Now, here's the second thing that's going on. I talked to the good brother, Edward Steve, because I wanted to get my facts straight. So I looked at the Dalton trustees and then there was uh, Hannibal's hungry, um, Nate, the attorney, I believe his name is Nate, the lawyer. And what I saw in their live streams when I first caught wind of it was there were a lot of people outside. Okay. And if anybody heard, you know, the live stream, you heard a lot of people outside protesting, uh, making a lot of noise because they were not allowed to be inside. And in fact, the city hall, people don't have access to city hall right now. And the reason why they say that's the case is because Tiffany Henry has been receiving death threats, which I probably believe that is true. But nonetheless, those people who are outside should be given the right to be inside. So now the trustees see two things wrong with this situation. Mr. Jason House, understands this and so at a particular part of the meeting jason house asked this question to the mayor all right um thank you for your public comment next on the agenda is general announcements do anybody have any general announcements um yes mayor all right go ahead okay um i, I hear a lot of the outrage and i think a lot of it is just around um having a space that can accommodate and i'm concerned also that there may be some violations of the open meetings act because we need to have a space when we know that there's uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 6.30, Dalton Park District, 14700 Evers. So that is my motion. Um, trustee, Thank you. we are not postponing a meeting. We are Thank here. You, and basically, we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically we continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here. Let's handle the business and not let the business handle you guys. We're not having no meeting at no Aye. Dalton Park District. So I'm just That's making that crystal ground. clear. Tr Clerk, what are you doing? You out of order. You out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clerk Key. You out of order, Clerk Key. Like stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody want to run stuff. Y'all don't run this house over here. Stop, please. So, as I was stating, we need to continue with the business. We are here. People came to a meeting to hear what we have been doing in our village. The department heads, the lawyer, everyone's here. So, I'm asking for you guys to sit here and to deal with what's going on. Trustee Tammy And that's the problem that we have. Now, wonder why we have this function. This is the reason. So, if y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to handle. Okay. All right, you so go, go, ahead, go ahead. Handle your business, and we gonna handle ours. So the trustees make the motion. They get up and leave. Walk away. And not only did they leave, everybody else in the meeting leaves. But then here's the funny part. Tiffany Henyard gives this whole speech and says this. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody for staying that actually came here to hear what we do um, in the village of Dalton. As you just saw, is chaos amongst our four trustees. They didn't come here to handle the business. They came here to do a political theater stunt, which you just saw. We didn't get through any business as it relates to a scheduled board meeting here in our village, which we supposed to do. But yeah, everybody cry about meetings and we should have more. Why have more meetings when it's gonna just be chaotic like this? Our job is to make sure we take care of the business and not allow the business to handle us, which you just saw before you. It's a shame that every time it's time to really take care of things, such as making sure payroll is paid. Because guess what? They didn't vote on paying the police, the public works, making sure your concrete is down. They did not vote on none of that. But this is the things that I face as a mayor here in the village of Dalton. And it's sad because you're seeing it with your own two eyes. I can't make this up. Y'all see that people walk out at every single board meeting. You see when we had the other board meeting, they walked out when it was a $33 million um issue on the table where we're supposed to win a closed session. We would have made sure we was in a better predicament if they would have stayed and made sure they took care of the business. But yet, the media don't report that. 
It's good to see the media out here, um, but I wish you guys would come for the positive things and not the chaos and not the media show, because that's all this is. I get it. We're clickbait. We're hot right now, and I get it. This is what sells papers. But I wish you guys would have came to our Easter event that we had on what was that, Saturday? We had over 500 kids out there happy, running around, giving away baskets. It was amazing. But you should want the good stories just like you want the bad stories. But it's sad that people tell you false information with no facts, and y'all run and y'all write it. Y'all know y'all can destroy people's lives by just writing things that's not true? And then later, that person has to sit there and try to fix what you guys have broken because y'all have a national platform. So this is my outreach to the media, which I said it several times. Please, please do your research. You guys call yourself journalism. Please research the stuff before y'all put things on your national platform and hurt people that should not be uh, political damage because y'all want to make a story for clickbait. That's all right. And I get it. People sell their souls. I get it. You want to be the hottest thing right now. I get it. You guys go and y'all get awards for who got the best story. I get it. But please stop destroying people's lives and tell the truth, please. And then if you follow me, y'all should have paid attention to the Tiffany Henry on the Moo podcast. All the things that y'all posted, which was all fake and false, I showed y'all the truth. Y'all get the same footage y'all had, but none of y'all played it. Y'all had to make it like we was lying, like I was lying. But you guys was telling lies, and that's not cool. So that is my information to you guys. So I don't know how y'all going to spin this meeting or say whatever, but show the facts. All the trustees walked out because they couldn't have their way. And that's not how government works. Governments works like this, good, bad, or indifferent. We work together. We put on a good collective front for the public, and we fight in the back. But yet, people came here for a stunt, a show, because all y'all came out. I don't never see y'all come out for nothing positive like this. How y'all came out like this? Come out to the next thing that we have, just like y'all out here for the bad press, which people won't clickbait. So with that being said, we're going to get through what have I been doing as your mayor of the village of Dawson. And thank you, residents, for always supporting me, loving on me, and encouraging me, and keeping me in your prayers. Because I need that. Because as you can see, I'm under attack. I'm under attack. I'm under attack. I'm under That's attack. right. She wants to blame these people, the troublemakers of the town, and all of that. And of course, whenever Jason House is asked about why he did it, he says this. The Open Meetings Act requires that the uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. So rewind. <laughs> so the reality is, is that the mayor has been changing things up, doing whatever she wants to do, and the trustees have grown quite tired of this situation. So basically what they have done is reverse power back into their hands. It is clear to see where the real power is. It is with them, everybody inside of the meeting, from what I understand, from what I can see, left, the majority of the people left, and she looks really stupid, uh, in my honest opinion. And I honestly now believe that she will definitely be out of office in 2025, based on just that. Um, and then when you look at the love that these people got, I mean, you're gonna see the, the crowd outside really praising the trustees here. So guys, seems like it's a wrap. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Dude Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out.